Hi, I'm Lisa Sim from Sim Minerals, and you're watching WatchMojo.com. So today we're here with Jerome, model from Specs, very handsome gentleman, and we're going to talk about, you know, basically how to conceal the night before. So we're going to start with his hands. Believe it or not, kind of like the whole global thing is like we're looking at your hands, we're looking at your face, your hair, it all is like one big package. Let me see your hands. Do you cream your hands enough? Uh, I think so. Okay, well, moisturize your hands often, okay, because often we get very dry and scaly, it gets very ashy looking, not nice to touch. You can also, oh, let me get my buffing block. Oh. I have a buffing block in my pocket, just means I'm happy to see you. So when I use a buffing block, there's actually normally four sides that you can get at the pharmacy. That one is going to file, the other one is going to take out the ridges, you can turn it again, and it's going to like bring out the shine. That way you can look like, you know, it's a manicure, not like a female manicure. Manicure. A manicure. The night before action is always going to result in a little bit of under eye circles. Before you go to bed, even in your drunken stupor, put on a little bit of eye cream. Just a little bit on the tops of the fingertips. We're going to apply it to the top of the cheekbone. If we put it too close to the eye, it's a lot like if we put conditioner in the roots of our hair. It gets really greasy, it gets really heavy looking. And afterwards, we can now apply a little bit of concealer. I'm just going to use a little bit of mineral powder, so really no show coverage. We really don't want to make the appearance that we have concealer on, we have to make sure that we don't use a color that's too light. Take something that has a little bit of an orange or peach undertone, and that counteracts the blue. If your problem is getting baggy, you know, you got the big pooches going on. Oh, what else do I have in my pocket? Two spoons! Stick these in the fridge or in the freezer. Leave it in there about 10 minutes, let it get really cold, and then we just go, Ah, so it's really refreshing. What you can also take is some tea bags, the caffeine in the tea bags, put that on for about 10 minutes. That's gonna help, you know, move the, the toxins out and also cucumbers. Yeah. So moving on, when I look at a guy, when I'm talking to a guy, I'm really focused on his mouth. Mm. So you know how important it is to have, make sure that your lips are well conditioned? Yeah. Do you know what you do? Okay, you're gonna take a little baby toothbrush, brush your lips, get all the dead skin off, okay? As you're doing that, it's gonna make them look fuller, it's gonna help the blood circulation, and then afterwards what I recommend is a little bit of a lip saver. This one I really like. It has an SPF in it as well. You're gonna hydrate your lips, it's gonna keep it in a better state all the time, it's gonna reduce cracking, you're not gonna start bleeding. It's much better that way. You're working on the beard, okay? Some people have the junior version where they're just trying to like get, you know, a little bit more going on. So what I recommend, make maybe the lamb chops stick out a little bit more. You want your pinch to like really be prominent on point and sharp. Take a little bit of brown shadow. Just gonna take a dark brown. So we see here, I mean, we wanna bring this out, give them that, you know, 70s guy kind of look. And basically just shade the skin. And if you want, you can just brush that through afterwards. I find for guys that they really should have angles. They should be angular, they should look strong. Generally want to like bring out the jawline. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna shade a little bit and lightly run your brush with the shadow just along the jawline. So it's the same thing. We have a little bit of the pinch in front. We have a little bit of the crest dash going on. We can always accentuate that. Just fill that in a little bit. Now we just need a little bit of color. Summer's coming. You know, I don't really say that guys gotta wear foundation because that's the last thing I really want to see on my shirt afterwards, you know, after being been making out or something. So, we're gonna use a little bit of bronzer anywhere the sun would naturally hit. Let's talk about eyebrows, okay? No mad scientists, okay? That basically means brush the brow. If there's any really long bits going on, we're gonna take a small scissor. See where it kind of curls up over here, starts looking a little mad scientist. We're just gonna trim the tip. Okay, so we're gonna actually curl the lashes. When you curl the lashes for a guy, it actually makes the eye look bigger. It makes the white of the eye stronger because it doesn't, there's no more shadow that's being created. Okay, so don't be scared, I'm a professional. One, two, three, four, five. And I just kind of walk it out. I start at the root. I hate guys' eyelashes because they have better eyelashes than girls. I don't get it. What I like to do um, afterwards is kind of just look around and see if there's any excess redness. If you have a little pimple, this and that, you can always go back to your mineral powder. So that's basically it. This is the way to achieve kind of like the post morning after. I'd like to thank Jerome from Specs Models. I'm Lisa Sim from Sim Minerals. And thanks for watching WatchMojo.com.